I talk about my case first. Yeah. Uh, a few years back, we were in the Perancan Island, actually, we were holiday. Mm-hmm. And somebody actually broke into our house from the back. Mm-hmm. So, <coughs> my neighbor had to call me, and then we had to catch up our holidays and come back. So, that was the first time that it happened to me. And uh, I have alarm so, also, mm-hmm. but somehow, they just break in. And it happened that my alarm, the, the battery was quite weak. So it yeah. broke it had in. To happen at that point. Yeah, correct. So it broke in. Broke in. Stole two of my laptops, my uh, cameras, because I work from home. So my laptop is actually my my workstation. Uh, so everything was gone, you know. So luckily, I, I had some backups. Uh, so my work was, was still there. Yeah. So <clears throat> after that, uh, not long after that, I think maybe one year later, this happened maybe four five years ago, uh, mm-hmm. to be honest. My mom's house in JB was also broken into. Mm-hmm. At that time, actually, my mom was with me okay. here. So when she went back with my brother, the roof, they broke through the roof. Huh? Okay. So there was a big hole in the roof and then the ceiling. Mm-hmm. And it happened that it rained heavily those few days, you know. So they went back. Besides, the, the whole house was, uh, you know, rough. Okay. Then it's all wet also. So they were cleaning up all the mess. So after that, uh, <coughs> my, my, my mom passed away because of cancer, uh, I think one, one plus years later. And the house was empty. I have a brother in Singapore, so he comes in every weekend to stay in the house, do some shopping and all that. Then last year, it was broken into again. You know, It was an empty house actually, but you know, we still have things inside. So this time they broke in from the back. Uh, so. And <coughs> all those cases of break-ins, um, the house was empty, no one was inside the Yes, house. luckily no one was inside. Uh, but it, it can happen also when someone was inside. Uh, you know. So this was the cases that, 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 that happened to me and my family. Then my wife's side in Glen, also the same thing, his eldest brother, mm-hmm. house was broken into also from the back. Uh, they were sleeping uh, upstairs. Mm-hmm. That time actually people were inside, but luckily they were not injured because you know, the, the thieves came inside, they took things and they left. Right. Then another of my brother-in-law, mm-hmm. also in Klang, mm-hmm. <laughs> this was in the morning, it's daytime, you know. Mm-hmm. So that, that was his off day, he worked like odd hours, you know. So he was uh, in the toilet upstairs, you know. His wife was uh, working. So he was the only one home. Then suddenly he heard noise, you know, he was in the toilet, you know. <laughs> then he opened the door, hey, suddenly he saw a stranger, you know. <laughs> so he quickly closed the door back, but the, the guy left right, anyway. Right. So it was another break in also. So the all these incidents have been within a space of about well, I would say four to five years now, right, you know, years. up until more right. recently okay. also. So if you think about five incidents in five years, I mean that's I'm, those are the people that actually related to me. Yeah. I'm not talking about people that I don't know. I'm not talking about you, my friends. You know. These are my relatives. Mm-hmm. And talking about my relatives, they are also uh, snatch uh, teeth incidents. My, my niece in JB, and then one in Ampang also. Mm-hmm. You know, many cases. Uh, you know, these are, I'm not talking about my friends or my, you know, some, some, something that I read in the newspaper. These are actual, actual cases that, that, that are happening to people that they are related to me. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm trying to say is that actually, my case I don't think is uh, very special. Mm-hmm. If you talk to anybody, they will have their stories to tell. Mm-hmm. So it's not just isolated case that oh I'm, I'm unlucky, you know? I never wash my back, la, you know, mm-hmm. I'm careless, la, never not uh, not alert or things like that. It's not the case. Mm-hmm. So, because my house, for example, alarms and all that, you know, it's linked to our handphone, things like that. You know, it's, it's quite well protected. Like. It, it never happened to us uh, until a few years ago. Before that, we have been staying here for more than, uh, what, 16 years, 70, wow. 17 years. Okay. So the first 10 years, nothing happened. It was, it was fine, you know. So do you think that your personal experience, um, it makes it hard to believe the statistics? Uh, Actually, numbers is a funny thing. Lah. Mm-hmm. So if you ask me or you ask most of the people, they will tell you that, uh, okay, uh, we're talking about crime rates here. We're not talking about when you do business. You know. When you do business, let's say this year your sales is uh, what's 1 million, next year we want to increase it by 10%. But it's very easy for you to, to figure out the numbers because it's constant. Your, your clients, you just increase some more clients, then you increase. Crimes are not organized. Okay, this year, you no, know, the the teams will say, okay, we will do uh, 100 cases. Next year, we will do 110 cases and things like that. No, it, 
the number doesn't mean anything, isn't it? There's a drop, let's say, from let's say three thousand cases to two thousand cases. Happen that they are just less crime doesn't mean that the police is doing a good job. Just happened that maybe hey, they are just less crimes, but not a lot less. It's less, but doesn't mean anything, isn't it? What does it mean to you? To to people, <coughs> anyone doesn't mean anything. And you cannot just conclude by by saying that there's a drop of a certain percentage. Okay, police are doing a good job. The crime rate has decreased and all that. It doesn't prove anything unless you prove to us that oh, okay, the, the the police they are doing a good job. Yeah, more more arrest cases maybe, more you know things like that. Then it means something. Because right now the index uh, is calculated uh, by the number of reports that I made. Mm. Do, do you think that that's reflective of the actual cases or what is happening on streets and If you are reporting the arrest cases, maybe it, it, uh, to a certain extent, it, it, it does show that uh, there are more arrests. But so reporting uh, the arrest, they report like victims go and report, so that's... That doesn't mean anything. Right. Right. So it happens that during this period of time, there are just less crimes committed, but there are still a lot of crimes committed. Mm -hmm. So as long as the citizens, if you go outside, you feel don't feel safe, then it doesn't mean anything. To <coughs> granted, they will, they will never be zero crime for sure, correct? Right? But there must be a certain certain number where it's just not happening to everybody. You know? mm -hmm. Like if you go and take a, you go out jogging, people will rob you. If you go out, you know, shopping, people will rob you. You know, things like that. You know, it just it just it's just not the not something that that should happen. You know? mm -hmm. And then there's another lady. Morning, she went to the market, come back, park her, her car next to the street. She walk on me, there's a barang already at the bank, you know, and things like that, you know, it's just, you cannot even just go out, uh, take a walk, uh, feel, and you feel very comfortable, you know, mm -hmm. so, like even the mama, you know, I went to the mama at night time, walk, walk down there, my wife scolded me, and said, hey, why are you walking to the mama, it's just, yeah. <laughs> five minutes, you know, yeah. so I have to drive, you know, well, I better drive, you know, it's safer that way, so, so it's, you feel uncomfortable, you know, you keep watching your backs, you know, even though, you are just doing some simple things, going out, maybe grocery store, buy something, mama store, and all that. And I think it's not just me. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to one criminologist who tells me that people should expect crime to rise because the population is growing. <laughs> not, not true. Of course, crime, in my opinion, crime rate rising uh, has a lot to do. If you look at the bigger picture, I think it has a lot to do with other things. For example, our education system, maybe school are not discipline the students uh, mm -hmm. better. Maybe our parents also not teaching the children the, the, the morals mm -hmm. of not taking things from others, you know. And also probably has something to do with our income level mm -hmm. because kids look at, you know, nowadays kids, they all want the iPhone, the iPad, uh, things like that. They, they just cannot afford it. Our minimum wage, for example, is what? 900 ringgit, you know. Cannot even buy an iPhone then everybody wants one. Mm -hmm. Correct or not? So you, maybe you just, uh, the kids, uh, actually I'm talking about the kids. Maybe the uh, you know, lepa lepa in Starbucks, uh, so some ladies uh, hand on the iPad, then maybe they try not to buy, uh, follow. Mm -hmm. It can happen. Do you think that it's unreasonable for us now, considering considering how fast our country is going and all that? Is, is it unreasonable for us to expect to be able to walk down the street safely? I think we are not the only country that is uh, expanding very fast. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, like China and other countries also, like Vietnam, for example. Mm -hmm. I just went to Vietnam recently, mm -hmm. and I feel very safe. Mm -hmm. You know, the country I think is expanding faster than us. The population is higher than us. They make less income than us, but you feel safe. Actually, it is safe. Even the people will tell you it is safe. You know, I went there for for holiday, and I can leave my my things in the hotel lobbies, or even when they're having thing makan at the roadside. You know, we leave like our handphones on the table. Mm -hmm. You feel safe. Mm -hmm. You don't just... do that here. You can't leave. No, no, you cannot do that here. And the funny thing is that actually, one of the reports saying that we are the safest country, one of the safest country in Southeast Asia, even better than Singapore. I don't know how they, they, they how they do that. Right? And uh, and actually, I was in Singapore last year. I worked in Singapore for six months mm -hmm. last year. And in Singapore, for example, <coughs> if you go to a hawker centre, you see a lot of people. They will just uh, leave their bags at the table, and then go and order makan. You know? mm -hmm. They uh, it's safe. Nobody. Nobody touch the things, you know. Yeah. And it's, it's a very common thing. So and to say that we are we are safer than Singapore, I <laughs> I don't know where they get the numbers, you know. Do you think that um, 
people feel more afraid uh, because because of the things they read in social media. For example, you wouldn't have known about your friend's uh, incident if he wouldn't have written it on Facebook. Right. I think social media or, or the, the, the main, <coughs> mainstream media actually is, uh, is doing the right thing by exposing all these things to us that uh, we would not have known. Mm -hmm. now, for example, if you are not going through all these social media, maybe like you were lady, when you're driving, maybe you still place your handbag at the, at the passenger side. Mm -hmm. Now everybody is saying that it's not safe, you, know, you shouldn't do that, and you change your mindset, you don't do that anymore. The, the thing is that actually we, the, the government shouldn't just say, you know, no, no, they're just saying that this is a perception problem, this and that, they are, they, are, they are just saying that as if they have done all they can, you know, they cannot do anything anymore, you know. Uh, I always, I always uh, feel that, you know, if you, if you don't admit you have a problem, you're not going to solve the problem. A lot of people they feel that they cannot can can cannot happen to you. It never happened to you doesn't mean that it will not happen to you. No? Mm -hmm. I, I felt the same way. Ah, my house alarm and all that. I never go to those nice spots, uh, unsafe places. No? Oh, you know we are family men always stay at home. We go out also. Never go to places that that is not safe. Mm -hmm. But they are coming to you, you know? yeah. and it can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Anybody. Okay? Then then you feel like after it happened to you, then you feel like hey. I should have done more, you know. Ah, maybe my alarm not good enough, grills not good enough, this and that. No? You feel that way, you know. You feel a bit like my friend for sure is why we feel like I shouldn't have placed my hand back, you know, my first on the passengers seat, you know. You feel that way all the time. Okay, even though we believe the numbers is dropping. Mm -hmm. But it's still not safe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And people are losing their lives, that that's what really what is really sad is that, you know. People not their lives, no. Yeah. They, they, they fell. And how many cases are there? Anybody do a number, uh, a study? How many cases are there? I believe if somebody do a number, then we get a shock. Mm -hmm. I think nobody is. You, know, you go, go and dig and see. There, there, there's a lot. The violence, the violence of the violence. Yes, violent. correct. You know, yeah, you just snatch your purse. You know, okay, like you take the purse, it's okay. But people lost their life. You know? I mean, people, no more people like you. You, know? mm -hmm. and you go there, pass uh, or what? Suddenly, wow, well, you're gone. You know? mm -hmm. It's so sad. Um, so one who tells us it's doing, it's got hotspot apps <laughs> and it's working on this work, uh, broken window theory as well. Uh, but we don't see the action. We, we, we see, the, the, it, it's, it's always very easy for you to sit in your office and work out some numbers, work out some theories or, or some plans, but uh, actually uh, carrying out the plans, that's another story. Are they actually doing it? And, uh, well, uh, yeah. But, most of the deployment actually, they, they put in more people on the street, more police personnel. Right? They're doing it for places like Cape Town because they notice that that's where most of the crime happens. Mm, yeah. So does that leave the suburbs um, at, unguarded? Yeah. At one time, I think they were there during, was it last year? They had a lot of police, Ponto uh, Ponto, mm. at the housing area as well. Mm. I think that, that was really a good idea. Mm. But somehow it happened just for one, two months, mm. then no more. I, I I think that's a great idea. We want to see more more police on the on the streets. So basically, you hardly see any patrol cars pass by my housing area. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it will serve as a deterrent to the to, to the you know, people driving like, hey, police. You know, mm -hmm. we want to see more of them. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, that that will help uh, for sure. If you if you're really a good community, you know you know your neighbors and you work together, then it, it makes it less yes. fearful. We. I, I do that myself. Actually, for example, if I'm away, I'll pass a set of keys to my neighbor and they help to wash my house. And this, this is the neighbor as well. We always tell them that when we are away. They do the same thing as well. So we keep, we watch out for each other. Yeah. But uh, some, there's only so much we can do, you know. We are, so, okay, even if you watch, if something really happened, what do you do? You call the police. Now. I mean, besides that, you don't do anything, right? It's, it's quite dangerous. So, but we do that, yes, I do that. In fact, they will have my key when I'm away my neighbor and they do the same thing also. I think it's a good idea. Does uh, it make you feel more secure? Uh, it does in a way, but uh, again, like I said, we citizens can only do so, so much. Uh, if you see crime uh, crime happening, what, what would you do? You know? yeah. I mean, let's say, think about it. You, know, you, are, are, you see some, some snatch thief, you know, what, what do you do? You chase after the guy or what do you do? You're probably in shock and you yeah. won't be able to react, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, we try to do as, as much as we can, honestly speaking. You know, I think most citizens do, uh, but uh, 
again there's only so much that, that, that we can do. Malaysia Kini.com Malaysia Kini Malaysia Kini Malaysia Kini